Hello, ministry team leaders. This is Sarah Davidson, Director of Communications and Membership Engagement at Cedar Lane UU Church, as you know. Um, each month, I will be sending out a video tips, a vi tip video on communications and membership engagement at Cedar Lane. This month, the first month's video will be on what to do before your event, before it happens, in the planning phases. And of course, that inevitably means that I'll be bringing up the program proposal form, a new form that we've adopted and that will surely evolve in the coming months and years. Um, so yes, before your event and engaging with the program proposal form. The link for the program proposal form is right under this video screen. If you need to link to it and you want to kind of look at it as we're talking, that'd be great. It's also just a good, it's there. If you need it, it's there. So before your event, things to be thinking about, things to be in dialogue about with your ministry team members and possibly other ministry teams and other staff, maybe me, hopefully me. A good question to ask amongst the team and with me and with yourselves as ministry team leaders, why are we doing this? And who is it for? Who is it for really gets to the heart of who is our target audience? What can you do in your planning to keep this target audience, once you define who they are, in mind? An example here, an easy example, I'll admit. Family-friendly events. What does that really mean? Does it mean child care just by itself or does it mean activities that are inclusive, inclusive of the entire family? Families doing activities together. Think that through. If we want to build an appeal to families at Cedar Lane, how can we more closely examine and have conversations about what a family-friendly event looks like at our church. Just an example. Another question that's on the program proposal form about goals. Um, part of the evaluation criteria is what it looks like on the program proposal form. What criteria will, will you use to measure the success of your goals? How will you know you have reached your goals? I think it's good to have discussions before your events about what are your goals. Is it to have X amount of people show up to your event or your program? Um, what measures do you have in place as a team to determine success? I would invite ministry teams to explore that question together and with me and be happy, genuinely happy to talk through and explore those answers. On the program proposal forum, the next item we will discuss here, content hooks. I have received some wonderful content hooks from some of you that I'm very grateful for. Content hooks kind of shift the way you think about describing your event, publishing your event, and it takes kind of the logistics out of it and adds in a little bit of what's in it for your target audience, what's in it for others that you would like to have attend your event. How can you craft an event and promote it in ways that appeal to your target audience? So here's an example from Rock Creek. Chris Graham did this. It's pretty simple, but I love it. Um, it's about Rock Creek cleanup happening on, on October 20th. Would you like to feel good about protecting the environment and water quality of Rock Creek and connect with others in your community? Join us for the Fall Rock Creek Cleanup on Sunday, October 20th from 10 to 2 and enjoy an organic lunch on us between noon and 1 p.m. Says what it is, but it also helps inspire a sense of, yes, if I were to go to that, what would, what's the meaning of it? Why is it important that I be there? Help answer those questions for people. So, my invitation to you is to think through some of these questions as a group, and when you're ready, fill out the program proposal form in its entirety. 
it's been invalu invaluable to me to have this information and invaluable to the facility staff in terms of juggling room space more effectively. Um, and my final invitation, an even bigger one, would be find a designated communications person for your team that can meet with me to help think through some of these items. Um, set aside time to really devote time to these answers for your team. Empower others on your team by asking them to contribute to their chosen faith community. So I hope this is helpful and I'll see you next month.